hi welcome to my channel if you see me for the first time hi my name is queen and i'm a small business owner now on my channel i talk about all things um, entrepreneurship how to start a business how to scale your business um, how to start a side hustle passive income and all the fun stuff and today i would encourage you to watch this video to the end because i'm going to be sharing with you guys really 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 great tips now if you have a digital product or if you want to start a digital product and you have no idea how to market your digital product and get people to buy from you then you should definitely watch this video to the end okay i definitely encourage you to do that because i'm going to be sharing with you guys all the tips that you guys should and that you guys should start doing to sell your products now I'm assuming you know what a digital product is. I'm assuming you have a digital product right now and you've been trying to promote it online and you're not just, you're not getting the results that you would like. So the first thing that I recommend is this. There are two platforms that I'm going to encourage you to sell your products on and they are TikTok and Instagram. Okay. Um, you can also use YouTube like this one um, to sell your products. However, if you're looking for a short and sweet content, um, short and sweet, easy to connect, easy to create content platform, Instagram and TikTok. Okay. The first thing that I want you guys to do is ask yourself this one question. Why? Why would my customer buy this product? Understanding the solution, the benefit of your product. Marketing is all about the solution that your potential customer are going to receive. It's not about the fact that you have an ebook that you want to sell. Is what is your customer going to benefit from your ebook? Instead of going online and saying, buy this ebook, buy my ebook, show your customer what the benefits are of your ebook now the first thing that i want you guys to think about is who is my target customer who is my target audience who is this ebook for now i'm going to use you guys for an example say i write an ebook and the title of my ebook is how to manage um how to market your digital products now go to think about it who are my target audience my target audience are people who currently have digital products and they're having they're going through stress or struggle with you know selling those products or somebody who is about to start a digital product company or a business and they're wondering if i create my digital products how am i going to sell it now another another characteristic of my target audience is these people are looking to make money online because that's the whole point of wanting to learn how to start out to market your digital products right so i already know that you have a digital product okay i know that you're passionate about wanting to make money online you want to make money to pay for your rent you want to make money to buy a christmas gift for your kids you want to make extra income these are the characteristics of my target audience so that's what i want you guys to think about who is my digital products for and why do they need it now you want to create content on social media one of the ways that i would recommend for you guys to create content is to show your lifestyle so you have a digital product that um, teaches people how to sell how to start a digital product business okay you want to show your lifestyle showing the benefits of what your course has done for you so you're telling people that start a digital products business because it would provide you with financial security it's going to provide you with freedom because you only have to create it once and you don't have to sell you don't have to package orders you don't have to ship orders these are some of the benefits of your product so you're going to show that through your lifestyle content now on instagram i would recommend creating content that is about 10 to 15 seconds making sure you use a trending sound now i'm sure you guys already know how to find a trending sound if you look at the top of the sound it would say trending and you want to go for a sound between i would say 5k to um 7k 10k because it's starting to trend it's songs that are starting to trend at the beginning is the best way now the way you want to do this is this you're going to create a 10 15 seconds okay you're going to create um you doing something for maybe you going shopping okay that's a lifestyle because you're a digital product creator you're a digital product business owner you have the freedom to you know enjoy life people want to see you enjoy life because they want to relate to your business to relate to you okay 
Now you've created a, a short video, 10, 15 seconds, right? Of you doing something lifestyle related. You're going shopping, you're cooking, you're having fun, you're doing whatever. All right, you're going to make it short, 10 to 15 seconds. You're going to use a trending audio, like I said, about five to 10K. And then in the caption is where you then connect with your audience. You're going to connect with your audience by first stating what their problem is. You know that this is their problem. By stating what their problem is, they understand that you know you you know what they're looking for. So if you start your caption by saying, I was once struggling with financial security, da 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 you're talking about something your audience can relate with okay you're starting with something relatable at the top identifying the problem that your customer is facing right the next part of that is you'll put an call to action you're going to ask them to save your video to see it later or you're going to ask them to um send the video to a friend or you're going to ask them to follow you okay you're going to give them you're going to start with the problem something relatable you're going to add a call to action and then at the bottom you're going to then talk about you know the benefit of what your product is some of the things that you did to change your lifestyle change your life around once i got into digital products or starting to do digital products you know it gave me so 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 amount of money every month i'm able to, to spend time with my family i'm able to you're talking about the benefits the benefit that relates to your target audience okay now remember you need to understand who your target audience is what is their pain points what are the things that they're looking for what are the things that they're trying to learn what are the things that they're interested in you're going to write that in your caption because it shows that you understand them it shows that um they can relate to you and then you're going to talk about how your product helped you you know, starting a digital product has helped me in so many different ways. Now I have financial security. I have this and I have that. You're then going to ask them if this is something that they want to do for themselves. If it is something they want to do for themselves, then you're going to give them another call to action. Now, there are several ways you can do a call to action. You can either tell them to check out the link in your bio. You can also ask them to leave you a comment and you're going to send them the link to the product. Okay. So for instance, you can say, if this is you and you're looking to change, you know, switch your life around and you want to learn how to get started with your own digital products, leave me a comment saying yes. I'll send you the link on how to get started, okay? Then you're going to send them the link on how to get started. Now, in the video itself, you're going to make sure to include a hook in the video. And your hook has to be something that is going to get people to stop scrolling and listen to what you want to say. You're going to write something that directly relates to your target audience. Okay, you can either say something relating to them or something relating to you, but in relation to your target audience. I'll, I'll explain what that means. I mean saying that I used to make two dollars. I used to make, I used to leave paycheck to paycheck, and now I don't do that anymore because I started to do this one thing. That is a hook. You leave, you used to leave paycheck to paycheck, but that changed since you started doing one thing. Anyone who's leaving paycheck to paycheck that sentence relates to them they're going to stop and be like okay and then you're, you and then you said you started to do one thing you don't want to give everything away in your in the caption that they can see you want people to watch your video okay so you started to do one thing it's going to get them curious to know what you started to do to change your life around that's how you get people to stop scrolling when you know when they're on instagram and they're scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling away i feel like i've said a lot of things in this video so i'm going to recap you're going to first understand your target audience who they are what is their pain points and you're going to also understand how your product benefits them okay you're going to continuously create lifestyle content and i'm just saying lifestyle for right now there are other types of videos that you can create you're going to create lifestyle content it doesn't have to do with you doing something you know business like it just has to be something that shows you know something that your target audience can relate to in terms of you have financial security you have time on your hands you have kids you can take your kids out you know these are things that people who struggle with having to work nine to five every blessed day they want that freedom to be able to take their kids out right so when they, when they see you doing that you're living life yet you're making money they relate to that as well you're going to put a hook in your video 
okay your hook like i've explained how you can do it you're also in your caption you're going to make sure you have a long caption in the sense where you're going to start with the problem a call to action then you're going to continue with um something more relatable to, to relatable to your audience and then you're going to tell them how your product benefits them and also a call to action directing them to your landing page which could be your website or you know you can tell them to leave you a comment you're going to send them the link this is how you're going to structure your videos on social media and this relates to both instagram and tiktok and the reason why i said your video should be about 10 to 15 seconds and you have a long caption unintentionally but intentionally um gets people to watch your video all over and over and over and over again so the period where they're watching reading your caption trying to understand what you have to offer and how you can help them your video is playing in loops and that also helps you for engagement asking people to drop a comment that you're going to send them the link to your bio or the link to the product is also great for engagement because as you already know instagram is all about engagement and in terms of likes in terms of views in terms of comments says so you want to make sure that you're giving people call to action over and over and over again to make sure that your video does really great okay we've talked about creating lifestyle content and i've told you guys how to go about that now the next way that you can market your digital product is to be results driven that means that your content would all be all about showing results now this would be again you can create lifestyle videos right and then in your lifestyle videos you're going to show actual proof and actual results of you you know going through this journey of starting your own digital product business you're going to maybe do a screenshot of the orders that you've gotten you're going to do a screenshot of you know comments or um, reviews from people who've bought your product people want to know that it works i'll tell you something about um regular i won't say regular people i'll tell you something about people who who um aren't business owners or aren't um used to entrepreneurship i would say is that they are very emotionally connected to their money now a lot of people are emotionally connected to the money because you know the money money rules the world right now but most importantly people don't like to invest in something or buy something unless they know that it's going to work and you know what fair point i don't want to waste my money in investing in something that probably wouldn't work for me right so you want to show people that it works you want to show results that's why I said you have to be result focused. So you can create content that are lifestyle and you're talking about people's pain points, which is their problems, the issue that they're going through and how your, your products can benefit them. And you also want to create content that shows actual results. Okay. These are the results that you're going to get from buying my products. And what are the results? Again, the results has to tie into what their problems are. If my problem is um gaining followers on instagram i want you to show me proof that if i buy your ebook um i'm going to gain followers on instagram so you're going to show me reviews from other people you're going to show me before and after photos of you being at zero followers and then now you're at 500 followers you're going to show actual results okay you're going to convince people that my product works and if you um buy my juicy product these are some of the results that you're going to gain from it another great way to market your digital product is by first offering people a free product okay i'll explain so if you meet someone on social media very for the very first time you've never met them before you've never seen them before you know sometimes it might be weird and absurd for you to expect that they're just going to buy from you just cause and that's where you can offer people a free product people are more more likely to want to download free products like i said people don't like spending money so people are more likely to want to download a free product so if you offer them a free product the great thing about doing that is that you're going to collect their email or their phone number and that way you can nurture them all right you can nurture them and get them to um relate with you and get them to trust you enough to give them your a hundred dollar two hundred dollar three hundred dollar the likelihood of somebody just buying a three hundred dollar course from you and they've never seen you before it's a bit very it's a bit difficult okay however 
you can sell maybe you can sell fifty dollar products thirty dollar products doing lifestyle content doing result driven content and stuff like that people who are people who, who you know buy things on impulse might invest in that money but if your product is a bit more high ticketed that this is like three hundred five hundred seven hundred a thousand dollars you definitely want to, you're definitely going to want to start with the freebie route and the way that works is this you're going to create a free ebook or a free template or a free guide that your your target audience are going to find valuable now in this free guide you're going to teach them something you know you're going to teach them something we're not going to teach them everything because you also still want them to be curious to learn more from you you want to display in that free guide that you're you know you know what you're talking about you have the skill set you have the experience in this free guide you're going to again you're going to include your story you're going to make sure that your free guide is curated to your target audience and you're going to make sure that you display that yes i know what i'm talking about and i'm here to help you change your life because at the end of the day Everyone who buys a who buys an ebook wants to learn something, wants to make wants to make themselves better in one way or in one capacity or another. It's important that your ebook focuses on that. Your ebooks is genuinely gr- giving them something that they feel is valuable. Okay, we're not going to give them everything because again, you still have your high ticket product that you want to sell. So the way that would work is you're going to use a tool. Any tool of your choice, like um, in one of my videos, I mentioned that I'm going to be creating a course on how to create digital products. It's going to be a free course on YouTube, so make sure you subscribe to my channel. You're going to use a tool like Canva to write your ebook. You're then going to upload that to whatever tool you're going to be using to collect emails. Now, there are a lot of tools out there that you guys can utilize. Um, one that I personally use is um, I use mailchimp i use mail personally use mailchimp to create a landing page that then has my sign up form where you can put in your phone number your email and then i'll email you my free ebook okay once you've done that you've emailed your free ebook that's your first contact with your customer once you've done that you're going to send them a welcome email saying you know you're proud of them you you're excited that you know they want to start this journey you're never going to focus on the ebook you're going to focus on the solution like i said you want to start this journey you want to change your life you want to make money and here's the, here's the ebook that i promised you make sure you go through it make sure you go through it and if you have questions let me know in that first email you also want to make sure that you're going to let them know that you're going to connect with them you know in the in the next couple of weeks just to see how they're doing and just see if they have any other questions okay that's it about a week later or maybe three four five days later you're going to send them another email just checking in to say hey i hope you you enjoyed my ebook what did you think about my ebook you know if you have another freebie that you want to give them you can give them something else as well like a free product like a free guide or something like that here's another free guide for you guys to utilize on your journey da 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 the next time you send them an email, you know, they've received one, two, three products from you for free. So they feel like, yes, you do care about them. You do want to, you know, really want to help them and make sure that each of the things that you send to them creates curiosity. You know, you want to make sure that, you know, they, they know that you know what you're talking about. But also, you, um, you, you don't give them everything because you still have your main ticket item that you want to offer to them. So when you do offer them your ticket item, you want to make sure that you tell them that, you know, you hope that they've enjoyed, you know, learning one or two things from the free stuff that you've le- given to them. But if they really want to get started, if they really want to change their life and start their own business or they, they really want to, you know, really, really, really want to change their life, they definitely should take advantage of your um, full course that you've been working on and you're going to offer them a special discount. You're going to offer them 20% off or 30% off something unique to them and you're going to say, you know, this is a one-time offer for this. Make sure that you take advantage of the offer because, you know, this this ebook contains everything you need to know to get started. That's essentially how you nurture your contacts. You know, they've gone from cold to warm. A cold contact is a contact that they've never come in contact with you before. And they, you know, the first contact they had was the free ebook. But then you've nurtured them by sending them emails and by sending them other free products 
until you offer them your your main product at this point they know who you are they know your story they connect with you and now they are more inclined to spend three hundred dollars or four hundred dollars to buy your product so these are the three ways that i recommend that you guys market your ebooks or your digital products the first being be problem focused be problem first create relatable lifestyle content the second one is to be results driven show them the results of you know what they're going to gain um by buying your ebook and then finally you can go with the freebie route which i just explained to you guys how to do it now these are the three main ways that i would recommend you selling your digital products i would recommend that you guys remember that digital products are about people wanting to learn something okay it's not like i want to buy a dress i want to look good or you know i want to um buy shoes these are not physical products i cannot have the physical physical gratification this is about learning something to better my life you know to 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 gain some sort of benefit and that's what i want you guys to focus on selling not selling digital products but selling the benefits the results what they what they stand to gain by buying your digital products anyway i hope you guys found this video helpful um before you guys go um like i said make sure to like and subscribe but before you guys head off um i'm going to be um dropping a course on my channel it's going to be teaching you guys how to start your own digital product business so make sure that you subscribe okay well yeah this is the this is the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one bye